Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Desk. The latest iOS just got released, and you might be tempted to hit that update button right away. But wait, there's some important steps to take before you dive into all those new features. Stick around to find out what they are. First and foremost, back up your device. Whether you're Team iCloud or more of an iTunes person, ensure all your precious photos, messages, and apps are safe and sound. Now, here's something you might not be aware of. Apple allows you to make a temporary iCloud backup for your device, even if you don't pay for iCloud storage or out of storage in your current plan. This backup will be available for 21 days and you can request additional time if necessary. With an option like this, there's really no excuse. Every time a new iOS update is released, I hear stories like, I was in the middle of an update and now all I get is a flashing Apple logo. Or I was updating and now I see the connect to restore screen. In these situations, the general recourse is to erase the device and all data is lost. So it's always better to be safe than sorry. Next, ensure your apps are compatible with the new iOS. Developers typically update their apps to be compatible with the latest iOS, but it is prudent to double check, especially for apps you depend on a daily. It's frustrating when you can't access an app that is crucial for work or one you rely on for school. While developers will likely release an update, this could take days or even weeks. Number three, we all appreciate new features, but they often demand additional storage. To make room for the new iOS, consider deleting unused apps, clearing your cache, or transferring photos or videos to a computer or a cloud service. Not only will this free up space, but it will also expedite your backup process. With less data to back up and subsequently to transfer, the setup process will be smoother and more efficient. Speaking of apps, once you've updated to the new iOS, ensure all your apps are also updated. Doing so not only provides you with the latest features, but also mitigates potential compatibility issues following the iOS upgrade. While this typically occurs automatically, if an app consistently crashes or freezes, it is likely that it requires an update. Now let's move on to number five. For an update, especially a significant one, your phone needs sufficient power. Ensure your iPhone has a minimum of 50% battery and is connected to a charger before initiating the upgrade. Personally, I recommend charging it as close to 100% as possible before starting. Echoing our initial tip, one factor that could corrupt the iOS update is an unexpected shutdown. If you want to avoid data loss and potentially added hassles, make sure your device is well charged. Number six, a stable internet connection is pivotal for a seamless update. Nobody wants an interrupted download. While a disrupted download isn't as dire as the OS being corrupt, it's still a source of unnecessary frustration and delay. Should you lose your internet connection, often you'll have to restart the entire process from scratch. Number seven, during the update process, you might be prompted for your passcode or your Apple ID credentials. It's essential to have these details readily available to ensure a smooth transition. If you're unsure about your Apple ID password, for instance, it's more straightforward to reset it before you reach the setup screen. Doing so allows you to receive things like two-factor authentication messages. Remember, if you're in the midst of a setup process, receiving text messages might be impossible. All right, Team iPhone, armed with these steps, you're now prepped to dive into the newest offerings from Apple. After you update, drop a comment below sharing your favorite new features. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with more tech tips. Until next time.